And I appreciate to be, uh, yes. I appreciate Whatever being educated if someone has a different take justice. on that, but, uh, I don't know, that's how I feel about it. Because you only end up with so much room in your stash. And when you get to the end of the, the end of the stash, once you've upgraded it all the way and spent all the money to do that, you only have spots for 210 items. Now I understand. Each crusader took an apprentice. And you can fill that up with set items like greens that provide serious benefits for having entire sets equipped. You can build you can build up a, a stable of those really quickly. Their own apprentices took up their identities. And so it has continued. Usually those are far superior in a set to anything else you can equip. Let's burn them all down! There we go. Man, I would like to hit 47 at some point in the next six hours here. I feel like we've spent a lot of time without a ding here. Once we start completing quest stuff here, we'll go back up. That's the problem. I haven't really run into any events, and I haven't completed any quests. And the extra experience you get from that is good for, like, a level or more. And there's a boss over there, and there's assholes over here chilling me. The boss is down. Drop something I can never use with this character. Oh wow, they're really giving us a lot of Crusader lore here really quickly. Yeah, break the walls down. How will they react to the destruction of the city that birthed their crusade? Will they continue west to the lands of West? More kills. What does their return? More chocolate milk. Yep. Gotta go up this way. There we go. All right. This was a dead end. Oh well, there's a chest here. Maybe the chest will drop something good. Not a goddamn good thing. Not a goddamn good thing. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Hope you're enjoying our uh, virgin hardcore run through here. For those of you who don't know, hardcore uh, means that if you die once, your character's dead. There's no coming back from death. So the stream could technically end at any moment, along with my character and my happiness and pride. We put, we put a good amount of time into this character already. And like I said, this character will die at some point. This character was not designed to exist past, you know, streaming. So this character will be streamed until it goes away forever. No, let me vault out. I can't vault out. I'm sad. Oh. I guess that Reign of Arrows really kind of ruined it. it. Just burned everybody down. I love it. I love it when you hit those high damage moments when you hit like a large group and you just pour everything on at once. It's it's really satisfying in a game like this. I mean, it's satisfying like in a game in general. Like when you pick up like a giant like rail gun in a first person shooter with infinite ammo or some kind of ridiculous nonsense like that. It's always fun. Oh shit, Desecrator, those guys are bad. Those uh, those explosions have killed me more than I care to admit. Just not being able to get away from them or something. It's trouble. So you got anything new for him? Nope, nothing. Weapon rack. Not yet. Not killed this character specifically, because obviously this character hasn't died yet. But it will happen. It has been foretold. Hardy, hardy, hard. Yeah. Man, I really need to focus more on my resource management. I'm really letting my hatred and discipline burn down rather frequently here. See, that's over the direction we gotta go. So let's run that away. 
grab the whatever that is infuriating iron braid which I can't equip which means it is a mighty belt which is a barbarian only weapon or barbarian only belt item equip whatever you want to call it it'd be nice to get a level here sooner or later that would be really nice you guys Man, I could really use some more experience here, because I'm getting no experience from this run. I guess that's what I get for playing on hard. The game's balanced to get you to 70 in Act 5 on Expert, which is the next difficulty up, which no, we won't switch to. Yes, because I am a massive, quivering pussy. I heard a funny, funny pussy joke. Um, pussy as in sissy joke on... Uh, an episode of Archer Vice I recently watched where uh, Pam tells Cyril that his balls are made of pussy. <laughs> and like, yay, finally a fucking level. Obviously, by just telling you what the joke was is dumb and it's not going to be funny, but in the context of the show, it was fucking hilarious. Came out of nowhere, made me laugh my ass off. So good on you, Archer Show, for being funny and making me laugh that the world you done did it cool evil his blood remains undisturbed beneath the shifting grab sand. that nope no grab that there we go nothing over here waste all our discipline vaulting back over here because that's smart here's the way out normally there's a boss around here but I'm not too worried about fighting the bosses at this point I just want to get through this section so that I can complete the quest crap. The faster we complete the quest, the faster we can move on to higher experience areas, because there are definitely more high experience areas I could be playing in. Specifically, Act 3 really kind of piles on the experience. Act 3 and Act 5. Act 4, you get a decent amount of experience, but it's so short that you don't really spend a lot of time getting good gains there. No, I will not do that. There we go. Yeah, Act 3 Act three is like the perfect length to gain experience and spend time in. Like, that's probably the best act in the game in terms of, like, the total storage of, of the, the total storage, the total package of story as well as, uh, come on, burn it before our king gets us. Yeah, yeah, we got you, bitch. It's the total package in terms of story, experience gain, and uh, fighting enemies. Where are we at? Here we go. Reflective plates. Oh, it's got pretty skull on the one side. Let's take a look at the pretty skull. You see the skull, you guys? Because I'm a badass chick. Yeah. Have you seen there's um, a Cards Against Humanity game on Steam. So you can get wasted and we can play Cards Against Humanity on Steam together if we wanted to. Uh, talking to X07 in the uh, in the stream chat here, saying that he wants to get super drunk and play uh, Cards Against Humanity, which is an amazing game. We, uh, we played a marathon game of that while I was down in Antarctica, uh, which I was down there on work for people who don't know. Um, we played a marathon session of that game, and somehow I got the uh, bucket full of horse cum card or whatever that card is twice, and both used the or used them both in the best, best possible fucking scenario. It was goddamn hilarious. Then again, that whole game is a hilarious blast to play. And I, need, I need to get my uh, I need to get my regen up here. Then again, if I'd stopped moving, it would have uh, put my brooding skill up, which would have helped me. So I need to remember I'm not playing as a class that's designed to be extremely mobile during combat. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's designed to be mobile to get away from damage as opposed to sitting there and taking damage. But it gets so many stat buffs from standing still, especially when you equip all the passive skills that buff it for standing still. 
that you're designed to basically stand there, do some damage, and then displace. So like, there we go. Stand there, do some damage, displace. And that's, that's the play style of this class here. Illusionist Nightmarish. Oh no, they're nightmarish. They make me run around. It's not cool, bro. That's alright. Now they won't be able to cause anyone nightmares ever again. Because we killed them. Yay! Video games. You often argue with Linden. Why? Our motivations are complete contradictions oh. of Grab that life. gold. It's actually important here. Once we unlock adventure mode, if we unlock on adventure mode, because I keep I keep saying it with certainty, like we won't suddenly die horribly at some point. Uh, but if we unlock adventure mode, the uh, ability to gain gold is increased so much that gold almost becomes trivial at that point. Yay! Oh wow, that's uh damage goes down but uh, the other gains are really good we're sticking with that for now I'm less worried about doing damage with this character right now I'm more worried about its survivability if it gets stuck in a crappy trap situation all right this ain't the spot there we go all killed and stuff. Man, I keep getting class only weapons I can't equip on my on my follower here. That's really annoying. Rise we might. Cool simply cannot be killed. Hopefully this is it. Nope, this is a chest and boss area. He bleeds sand. There's the boss. There is only one course of action left. Looks like all they have is knockback and maybe some lightning skills. Knockback. Thunderstorm knockback. Yeah, those lightning uh, bolts were coming from the, from the boss there, but the boss is dead, so it don't matter. None of this matters. Yeah, blow them up. Hooray! We killed a boss and stuff. Happiness. Uh, let's see. Once again, want to say hey to everybody in the stream. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this is our virgin uh, solo run through on hardcore of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. We're maybe two fifths ish of the way through the game. A little less than that. We're getting close to two fifths of the way through the game. Um. I say around two-fifths because we're almost to the end of the second act, and uh, there's five acts in this game. And granted, the fourth act is pretty short, but uh, yeah, so we've survived a pretty long time, uh, but things are getting more difficult, so we may see a horrible death here soon. I, lo I love that this, this stream and this playthrough is basically guaranteed to end in, in complete and utter failure, just in terms of the character dying. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully we don't die right away, but if you die, if you guys do get to see it, then badass. The more people that see this character die, I think the better, and I think is a more fitting end for this character to go out. Since this character is a stream-only character, I've only played this character on stream. So this character kind of is going to live and die entirely on the internet. Bam, explosion. Whee! Kill them all. So I've been experimenting with ways to improve the streaming quality and the interactivity of the stream uh, using like plug-in apps for 
the uh, Twitch dashboard and everything since you can't really do anything from the